What's going on, guys? So we're back here with my boys. See them? They're out here putting stuff over there. They're out here helping their grandpa. Um, he was working on his car. Uh, EVAP sensor. But uh, we're over here. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put this stove onto the trailer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some angle iron going from one side to the other and then we are going to put some pieces of pipe on either end which will slide onto these and it should hold it in place over here so it should come in it'll slide on like that It'll end up being like you know somewhere around right here we already have our our propane tank over here, okay. so the line will just come out, attach to it, and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. We got some of the stuff up here that we're gonna be using. So hopefully in this project, I don't have to go and buy anything because we are not trying to buy anything for this trip. Um, all right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of those things, get everything measured out over here, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I got the metal here that I'm going to use. So this is the angle that I have. I wish it was a little bigger, but I think that'll work. And here is the steel that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to cut like maybe like four, four or five inches, and then we'll place them on here, and then this one should be... I think it's like 40 inches, but uh, all I gotta do is just measure it out. It's about 40 inches and like one eighth. So I'll go ahead and cut all that and then we'll place it where we want it to be all right we'll be back all right guys so we decided to my son came up with the idea he's like just put the angle like that and it sits right on that lip I'm, now i'm gonna i kind of fucked up on that weld right there looks all ugly this one's good a little better haven't welded in a while so gotta get my bearings back uh, on the center it kind of moves a little so I'm gonna put a support from here to here so I'm just gonna go up from there just support on it and then I'm gonna try to come up with something to where it it comes out like that as a support that I could take put put on and off so that it holds the stove on you know gives it a little support on the on the front end and uh we'll go from there so we're kind of winging it right now but uh we'll go ahead and put this support on first and then we'll worry about the the piece that'll hold supported in the front all right guys so i got the support bar right here and now i'm going to try to figure something out to go from like here on up so that kind of creates like a triangle but the piece that comes up I need to be able to to remove it so that when I'm dry when I'm writing you know it, it doesn't get in the way of anything all right so I'll be back all right guys so it don't look real pretty but there she is I ended up going putting two bolts one in each corner and then the center, it already had a hole, so I just went down. My weld just going to look very pretty, but it's on there. See? So now this piece here will actually swing up, and I'll attach it. I'm still going to attach another little tab right here so that it'll go in with the, with another pin. And uh, that way it'll just stay there. And then these are just held on by some nuts. But it's it's on there. Sit on there. Let's see. 
If it holds his, if it holds my son, then. Oh yeah. I'm All right, both of you sit on there. Just don't, don't get burnt. Oh yeah, look at that. How much do you weigh? I weigh 69. You? You forgot? Probably weighs like 60. So 69 plus. I forgot. That's about, let's say, 150 pounds. Oh yeah, that's definitely going to hold some beans. <laughs> and some steak. So we should be good. Alright, well. I didn't really video everything that I wanted to video. Get down. But, uh... You know, it wasn't that hard. It was kind of easy. I had a friend show up, so she kind of took up my time. But, oh well, that's how it is. So, I'm just going to weld that other tab on there. And then we're going to clean every, all the welds up a little bit. And then I'm going to throw some paint on it. And we'll probably wash this stove because it's pretty dirty. And then maybe we'll cook something on it just for shits and giggles. All right, we'll be back when it's kind of done. All right, so I got it painted. You guys can see that? I just need to hit the bottom a little bit. We got it painted. And then, it's pretty good. It'll dry out and look flat black just like everything else. And then over here, we got the cap chef and we're trying to clean it. We're gonna hit it with the hose real quick and clean it up. And then, we'll pack it all up. Tried it out. I had the propane tank out here. I got it hot. You know, I had it on for like 20 minutes, just uh, trying to see how hot we could get it. And you know, it did good. It didn't get hot. The wood's a little warm, but I think it'll be all right. I mean, when we're cooking, it'll probably just be, you know, 15, 20 minutes at a time. So uh, I don't see any any worries with it. I think this setup's going to actually work out a lot better for us. So, should be pretty cool. Well, <clears throat> alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. It will help me out a lot. Thanks.